Hey, what's up? This is Joel from Gameplays Now. Bet you're wondering where the game is. It's about to come, but I just wrapped up recording my latest episode of Crash Bandicoot Episode 6. Um, and then I realized after I recorded it that for whatever reason the colors in the video got a little bit washed out. So if you're wondering why the colors look so bland, I'm not sure. I'm messing around with, this, with the uh, color settings and, and, and uh, watching some YouTube tutorials on what uh, my recording software, which is OBS, sometimes does. Anyway, it doesn't really ruin the video. It just kind of uh, takes away from some of the popping colors that Crash Bandicoot features. Uh, so I apologize in advance. Hopefully by next week I'll get us back up and running to normal speed. Um, so sorry and hope you still enjoy the video. Here we go. Hey, happy Friday, happy weekend, welcome back to Gameplays Now. We're just going to jump right into it, no fancy schmancy introduction. We're at the Cortex power level, so let's just get in this. I hope everyone had a good week. Uh, for those of you who are returning, welcome back. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, welcome to Gameplays Now. Uh, we go through and play games... Uh, relatively older than um, what's currently out on the market. That said, this is a this is an old game, but it's a remake of an old game, um, which I think actually just came out this year, or maybe the year before. Can't remember. I don't do my homework for these things. Sorry. Um, I'm not even sure how far through the game we are, uh, but we're. At the factory portion of the Oku. Ooh. Which way do we go? I want to say this way because there's an extra one up. What do we got going on here? Careful. Close. Alright, so we got a checkpoint there. That's good. So you can't even backtrack. I mean, I guess you could backtrack and go the other way. We're gonna go left. Ah, nuts. It's okay. Right there we could backtrack. I'm not gonna do it though. Except just to get that guy. Extra life. Always good. Checkpoint. Sweet. I don't remember playing this level on the original PlayStation. I think I honestly wound up playing more of Crash Bandicoot 2. Maybe even more of 3 than the original one. I'm not sure why that is. Played a lot of this game at my neighbor's house. So that might be why. It's kind of at the mercy of whatever uh, they had at the time, whether they owned it or rented it. Because when I was growing up in the mid-late 90s, I was not allowed to have a console. I had a... Game Boy. Ooh, not good. Um, that really takes me back. I was allowed to have uh, handheld consoles, but at that time it was really just... Um... Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention here. It was really just uh, Game Boy. Uh, I think the farthest I got with that was the Game Boy Color. But I was never allowed to own a console... It was not until uh, I was in high school when a buddy of mine straight up gave me his Nintendo 64. He never played it. Uh, I saw it like sitting in his room when I was hanging out there one day and I said, I didn't know you had a 64. And he's like, yeah, uh, i never play it. I said, really? Uh, I said, uh, mind if I take it? Man, I'm dying a lot here. And he was cool with it, so I took home his Nintendo 64 and didn't really tell my parents about it. I just kind of took it, and then they just kind of, I guess, I don't know if they didn't care, if they just were like, all right, well, I guess you're old enough now that if you want to do that, that's fine. So that was my first uh, console. Ah, jeez, this isn't good. Um, but the, the times growing up that I was that I did play console games, it was really at the mercy of um, 
you know, playing with a friend or at a friend's house. And in this case, for Crash Bandicoot, it was my neighbor who had uh, a PlayStation uh, neighborhood friend who actually um, lived, not lived, but uh, would... Our, my neighbor was uh, this friend's grandmother. Uh, and she had a basement with a TV and a PlayStation, so a lot of times they would rent games and... I was fortunate enough to be able to experience that as a kid. It was a blast, but back to this game, I don't really remember playing this level. It's because it looked different. Why can't I get past this part? I do have a mask, which I clearly need. Jeez. It's going to be pretty sad if this video winds up being just this level and me talking about my sad, sad history of... My lack of... Oh, there we go. My lack of console gaming. That was a pretty sad opening to this video. Yeah, well. I got over half of the crates. Go me. Oh, well. But I always loved the PlayStation. I was—I mean, it was as I was uh, growing up. I was a Nintendo guy. Um, I always wanted the Super Nintendo, and the 64 came out. Always wanted a 64. But PlayStation was just cool. It was a cool system. Um, it wasn't. PlayStation was never the gimmicky console. And when the 64 came out, you're like, all right, what are they trying to do with this crazy controller? Still a fantastic system, fantastic games. Um, but the PlayStation was like the cool kid in the class. You wanted to be him. Uh, but you were always the quirky kid. And I was always the Nintendo 64. Ooh, this is, uh, this is tricky. I kind of remember playing this on the Switch. Like I said before in previous videos, I have this game on the Switch. I'm currently, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm currently playing this on the PC because, believe it or not, it's a little bit more forgiving, even though I'm dying at a embarrassingly high rate. We'll, we'll push through. I would be curious to hear, uh, those of you who are watching this, if you want to comment about your first console. I think by the time... What good is that? That thing better come back. Thank you. Um, I think by the time I got that Nintendo 64... I guess that was still the current um, Nintendo system. Which is weird to me. Just the timing of it. I mean, it wasn't too much longer after that the GameCube came out. I think it was right on the tail end of the Nintendo 64's life. I remember... Oh boy. I remember getting it, and then shortly after I had received a decent chunk of change, a decent chunk of cash from a uh, relative who had passed away. And <laughs> uh, my brother and I, we both got a little bit of money. We were supposed to use that money on clothes. And I did a little bit, um, but I remember going to Toys R Us with my brother and picking up, uh, I think, Mario Kart. And at that time, I mean, Toys R Us has never been cheap, but this was no exception. Uh, I think I paid like 40 or 50 bucks for Mario Kart, and that game had been out for a while. I felt a little bit bad about it, because I knew I was supposed to be buying clothes, but it was Mario Kart, man. I can't remember what other games I had for the 64 that came with it. Um... Oh, that's right. He had uh, Ocarina of Time. Which, uh, prior to that, um, I think I played it once at a friend's house. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Didn't like it at all. I was like, what is this game that's... It just it didn't make sense to me. It was just this character you couldn't jump. Played it for like five minutes, gave up. Then uh, I got this game. I think, it, I think it came along with the 64. And uh, immediately loved it. 
I never really got really far in it. Um, I don't even know if I made it past the Deku tree before I kind of gave up with it, but I, I enjoyed it. It's just, it was, I guess, difficult for me because, I mean, I grew up on Mario where it's pretty straightforward, and this was arguably the closest thing to an RPG I had ever played. Um, so, didn't really do much with that game. It wasn't until I got the GameCube years later that I played a demo for Wind Waker uh, in a Target. And I was like, wow, this game is spectacular. I gotta get this game. So I pre ordered it, and Target had a special one on where you could put any dollar amount down, and you automatically got um, the Ocarina of Time Master Quest disc. So I paid like, my, my thinking was, alright, putting five dollars down, I'm gonna get this game for free. Well, not for free, because it was five bucks. Oops. Um, wow. Did not line that up right. And my thinking was, alright, well, I, you know, um, I'll get Ocarina of Time, and then maybe I will get Wind Waker, maybe I won't. The end of that story is I did get Wind Waker, and absolutely love that game, but that was the first time I really gave Ocarina of Time uh, the time of day. I'm glad I did, because at that, that point, I think that's when it officially started where I played through Ocarina of Time uh, once a year. It was back in 03, I think. So you figure 15 years of playing Ocarina of Time. I know I was late to the party because Ocarina of Time, I think, came out in 98. Um, but that's kind of my history with that. I would like to do a playthrough of Ocarina of Time. That would be a bit of a commitment. Actually, a little fun fact here is a little gem for this channel if you're watching this. I actually had started this channel doing. Um, correction. I had played uh, Ocarina of Time first four videos on my personal channel, YouTube channel, thinking I would start a Let's Play channel, or Let's Play series, not even a channel, um, on there. Um, and then I messed up something with the recording, but the game had already saved, so I kind of gave up. So my first Let's Play experience was really uh, four videos worth of Ocarina of Time on my personal YouTube channel. Um, but I would love to revisit that. So, I don't know. I'm still planning on playing all three Bandicoot games. Um, after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to jump right into Ocarina. I do want to do that eventually for this channel, but uh, it might not be right after this. I'm thinking of doing uh, maybe a couple series at one time because I've always wanted to do a Resident Evil game. That said, um, I do like keeping this channel as close to being uh, family friendly, family approachable as possible. So what I don't want to do is uh, do a Resident Evil game for however many you know weeks that takes, 15, 20, whatever, and totally give up, uh, given some material for some uh, f more family oriented style games. I try to keep uh, this as G or PG as possible, so at least if I did a uh, Resident Evil game, maybe doing something alongside that, doing two releases a week, which is a lot for me because I'm a busy dude, but it'd be fun. Just realize I'm doing a lot of talking while I'm playing this game um, about stuff that really doesn't have anything to do with this game. I think it originally did. Look at me being a chatty Cathy here. Oh boy. What is with that guy? I feel like I keep beating him, but. Alright, where's the barrels? You know they're coming. Oh, we got some bouncers. That's. Uh, not real good. Ugh. Ooh, I didn't even lose. I didn't even lose a mask on that. Go me. Now I'm probably gonna die. There's a bonus on this level though. I think I did see that token. Jeez. 
All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bounce out of here. That was correct. I think I got all the crates on the last one. So this one only has 13. Ooh, I'm pretty much gonna have to hit that TNT box and just jet out of there. Yeah, they want you to hang out. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Cool, I think so far we've hit up every crate. Jeez, man. Ah, nuts. Ooh. Okay. Good thing is... Um, those bonus things serve as checkpoints. Got lucky there. Ooh, I got all the crates. That means I get one of those fancy schmancy... Uh, oh, nearly perfect, but I did die. That is... Uh, that's, that's like the thorn in my side. Like, I'm not purposely trying to go out and get all the crates in every level in every game, but when I do, give me something. And you punish me for getting 100% on that level, but also dying. I don't know, that's kind of lame. Pinstripe. Potteroo. Oh, this is a mini boss. I think this will be the last part of this video tonight. His Tommy gun isn't always reliable. Oh, this is like the most violent thing in the game. He's just like popping rounds. This went from like an E game to like an M game super quick. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, like most boss fights, it's the time you got to figure out what he does, when he does it, where he does it. So for that part, you need to get him like while he's reloading. I think the second half of the boss fight is attacking him while I think his gun jams or something. So we're gonna just. I don't know what it is with these chairs, but they are bulletproof. Alright, now I think he switches up his tactics. Maybe not. Oh yeah, so his gun jams, and you're just like... I gotcha. Ah, nuts. Okay. I got a little too... A little too eager there. So for the first half, you gotta wait as he reloads, hopping between locations. So that's three easy hits, and then just have to wait for his his gun to jam. These bullets seem to be flying like really slow. This is not the same Tommy gun in PUBG. You are a psycho. Oh dear. Alright. So I'm going to assume that his gun's going to jam on the right side. Yes, go, 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 go. All right, cool. So we're gonna hang out here and assume that it's gonna jam on the other side. Four up on the table. Boom. Ooh. Sometimes you just gotta think quick. Sweet. Cool. That wasn't too bad. That's, that was a lot quicker than the last boss. No editing involved. All one take. I love those kind of videos. Um, that's going to do it. That is going to do it for this video. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, help me out. Hit the like button. Uh, comment. Uh, I usually comment back. You'd be doing me a huge solid if you hit that subscribe button. I think I'm up to 39 subscribers now, which is pretty cool. Got a little uh, following now. I like it. I love it. Um, if you want to go the extra mile after you subscribe, share the video. That would also help me out. There's also a Facebook page in the link below, which we give updates there because there are other videos that we do every now and then. Uh, we upload a PUBG or Fortnite video. I play with some of my pals, and uh, we get into some fun times there, so be sure to check those out if you haven't. Again, if you're new to the channel, peruse. It's not just playing through a whole series. Sometimes it's uh, just once and done videos too, which reminds me, if there's a, if there's a game that's um, maybe not as well known, uh, but would be kind of cool to get uh, its name out there let me know either in the comments or shoot me a message or whatever because I'm trying to get more ideas for doing like a once and done uh, which is like a one video series of a game I did it with Merc I have a couple other ones I'm thinking of doing so let me know if you want to see something like that or any other game just let me know 
Um, apart from that, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.